Alright, welcome back to another tutorial. Then today I'll be going over normal texture and um, other things as far as unwrapping goes. Alright, I'm not gonna fully unwrap this model. I'll unwrap another model. I just made this up a few minutes ago. Um, as you see here, you can see that there's still the pink dots and the seams and such that you can see. This to the right, the texture, that was created by sizing up the window to where it fit pretty much uh, the majority of the screen and holding shift and middle button to zoom out just perfect enough. When I got that, I print um, screened and I went over to GIMP, um, pasted from, sized it up to 512 by 512, always to the second power or always squared. And, uh... I was able to load it in from a uh, blender. All right, now going to the bottom. First off, these shadings, the two spares. Make sure you're at these this menu when you want to start up, and you should be able to click this UV. Then go over to the flat one that's right next door. The texture. Change this texture type down here over to image, and load up your new image. All right now we have Zway one. I guess that's German for two. Um, sorry, one. Um, and when on the second palette, we have the dummy model, which I wrapped up so elegantly and shrunk it down to size to fit just right under the first one. Alright, now the second one, what I did was I wrapped it with a. Uh, sorry, I unwrapped it. Now, here you see um, something I want to show you guys real quick. As far as welding, with the W button, when you highlight things, uh, you can. Weld them into a certain axis, like I'm going to weld these to the W axis. It works, I mean, sorry, X axis, it works wonders. Weld these to the Y, line up side by side. There you go, just a short demonstration of welding, yeah, when you want to make things really neat. Uh, now going back to, going back to the tutorial, I put this on a black on background so it can pretty much be the carbon uh, copy paper or the, the paper we're copying too. Now as you can see here even this doesn't have a texture or it doesn't show it in the preview but that's perfectly fine. We're gonna go back to right first we're gonna tap out then go back to the first model again the main model and from this all right, let me pull up the texture open this up this is what it looks like. Now, from here we hit F10. Then we should bring up new menus. Now, this is part of the scene menu. Scene and render buttons. What you want to do is you want to go to bake. Now, let's try texture mapping first. Highlight clear. Hit tab, get into object mode. Let's do textures. We're doing textures, so we're going to set this active. Holding shift, I select my second menu, then I unselect. Um, I grab, I unselect the first menu, I grab the second item, right click and shift on the second menu, then I shift again because this is what I, I pretty much need to make sure that they're both the selected and at least on the same plane. Then while this is all set, we have the selective act, um, select active, that's the first one we selected. Now we're gonna do the texture mapping. All you need to do is hit bake. It should take a few seconds. If not, it'll take less. And as you can see here, it baked the first um, texture onto the second um, on the dummy weapon, the level of uh, detail weapon right here. As you can see here, it's not fully done. But when I finish texturing it, it should pretty much look like what you see here. You can see from far away, um, it looks no different from the main model, which is this one. You see? Up close, it's a totally different thing. I mean, this, it even operates differently. I didn't put it on any um, animation, so it can ch change and all that other stuff. But, uh... It's getting back on track because I'm not sure how much time I have left. Let's uh, go to the cages. I just want to point out the cages. I um I always name them wrap one, wrap two. 
I didn't put any nodes on this. Um, I'm gonna. No, I already saved it. Well, you see here we have pretty much the high quality. This is 512 by 512. The low quality. Um, this is 125 by 125. What I first did was I opened up a new black screen in um, GIMP, sized down a 128 by 128. Sorry, I got the numbers mixed up. And I loaded it up for this one. Now, that's pretty much how we do texture wrapping and unwrapping. Um, I'm going to stop this video now and I'll continue on part 2 later because there's something else I also want to show as far as the sword being loaded into the engine. I haven't moved on to modeling yet. I don't feel my models are where I want them to be so I'll pretty much stop here. Sorry about that, I'm in uh, player models.